Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. We've been working with Ball Guy and Platforms, and last time we left off, we uh, got Ball Guy falling. Ball Guy's a little mad at me right now because right now all he can do is fall and fall and fall with nothing to catch him, and he's a little bit angry at beating me right now. So uh, let's try and get him out of this uh, difficult situation, and so he can land on the platforms. So. What we're going to do right now, first of all, if you don't have this lesson up till now, uh, either you had some trouble doing it before or you just haven't been following and you're jumping in right here, you can go to MrStewart'sLessons.com and uh, uh, Intermediate Lesson 5, you can download the demo lesson and you can get the demo lesson up till now with the poor ball guy falling and falling with nothing to catch him. And let's try and save him so he can land on something that'll help him out. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the uh, ball guy code window. And so first I have to make a couple of changes. I have to fix a couple of things, which is a minor mistake I made in the previous lesson. So. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change a couple things. Um, what we really want, uh, we want our delta y to be decreasing, not increasing. And so uh, I'm going to change this delta y from delta y plus plus to delta y minus minus. And down here, uh, the y is going, shift y is going down. So um, we're going to make this a negative shift y. It'll work exactly the same way, but it's going to make a difference. It'll work exactly the same way right now, but it's going to make a difference uh, down the road in some of the program, some of the other programming we're going to do. Um, and if you want to see, I'll close this up, and you can see that it will still work uh, for our purposes exactly the same way. He'll still continue to fall and fall. So, what we're going to do now, um, we're going to go and we're going to create a couple variables. Um, the first is going to be a Boolean variable. Boolean, of course, means it's either true or false, and it's going to be Boolean in the air equals false. Um, all this is, is this is just going to uh, keep track of him, um, whether he's in the air or not. The other variable we're going to do is something called ground height, which is basically just how far it is from the uh, middle of the ball guy to the ground. So I'm going to say int ground height equals get image dot get height divided by two. So we're getting the ball guy's image, and then we're uh, uh, getting the height of the image and we're dividing it by two. So basically it's from halfway to wherever the ball guy is to the ground. Uh, that's going to matter because we want to make sure when he gets on the ground that he's right exactly on the ground. Now what we're going to do down here is we're going to go and we're going to um, put in, we're going to change the act method a little bit. Um, basically what we would like to do is we'd like to uh, if he's in the air, I'd like him to uh, fall, and if he's not in the air, I'd like him to be on the ground. So I'm going to put in a conditional here. If in the air, and this is just a conditional, right? So it's either true or false. So if he's in the air, what we're going to do is we're going to fall and we already created the fall method down below and then I'll say else we're going to have the commands that allow him to move and you'll see this closes the if else statement and I'm going to do auto layout just to straighten things out a little bit now what we're going to do is I'm going to use my move command a little uh, down below my uh, set. I'm going to use my move command the way it's meant to be moved. Uh, and so 
instead of setting the location with scroll directly, I'm going to change my when I go left instead of setting my location with scroll directly, I'm going to change my delta x. And that's going to and and so instead and it's going to do the same thing when I get down here. It's just going to the move command is going to set my location with scroll that way instead of me doing it in here right now. And I'm going to do the same thing here if I want my moving to the right. I want my delta x to equal five, positive five. That's going to move me to the right. But what I'd also like to do is if I'm not holding the key down. If I'm not holding left or right key down, I'd like to uh, not move at all to set my delta x to zero. So I'm going to put else. I'm going to put an else statement in here, and in that case, I'm going to set my delta x to zero. So this way, if I'm not moving, if I'm not holding my left or right key down, I'm going to uh, stop moving if I'm on the ground, but only if I'm on the ground. That way I'm going to have some momentum, so if I'm uh, in the air, if I'm flying in the air, I'm going to keep moving left or right. So, uh, and so this is what's happening right now. Oh, and then this fall down here, I don't need this fall down here anymore um, because it's up there. I only need one fall statement, so I'm going to delete this fall method up here. So right now if I'm in the air I'm going to fall. If I'm on the ground I'm going to be able to move left and right. Now all I need to do is I need to actually set it up so I can tell if I'm on the ground. That's what I need to do. And the place I'm going to do that is in my move command. I need to see if I'm on the ground. So what I'm going to do here, I'll do this uh, right here. I'm going to start a new line right here, and I'm going to say, I'm going to find, look for a platform below me. So I'm going to say, and I'm going to call it, and it's a, so that's going to be an actor, and it's going to be, I'm going to call it that actor, the variable to represent that actor, I'm going to call it platform below. And the method I'm going to want to use to find that is the get one object at object and uh, get one object at offset method. And this is a great place to uh, use the control space because it's such a long method and so easy to misspell. So the dx and the dy is how far the uh, object is from me in the x and y direction. Well, it's right below me. It's nowhere to the left and right. So the dx is going to be 0. Um, the dy we're going to use, you remember, remember we created our ground height method up above here. Uh, so the ground height is how far from the ground below me it is. So I'm going to say ground height, which is where my feet are, and then I want to check it a little bit below my feet. So I'll say ground height plus 5. And the thing we're looking for, of course, is the platform. So I'll put in platform.class because that's the thing we're looking for. So that's uh, so now we're just looking for a platform below us. If there is a platform below us, then what we're going to need to do is stop moving and uh, set that we're on the ground. Um, so if the platform below, we've used this a lot before. Um, this platform below not equal no. If you've been following my lessons or have done much with Greenfoot, this is probably familiar to you when you're detecting a collision, right? You're seeing that if the thing, it's not null, the thing you're looking for is not null. And I just realized I misspelled platform. So if the platform below is not equal to null, that is, if there is a platform below us, I'm going to do an open curly bracket. We, first, we, it, it's it's useful to know if uh, if we're falling. So I'm going to say if if we're falling, uh, this is one of the things I just changed here. My delta y is going to be in a, a negative direction, right? So I'm going to say if delta y less than zero, that is, if we're falling. 
then we're going to do a couple things here. First, we're going to set our delta y to 0, which is the most important thing. First of all, we're going to let the poor fellow stop following. Then I'm going to say in the air, that was the variable we created up here, in the air equals false. That's going to put us on the ground. Now, I want to make sure I'm right at the top of the platform. That's really uh, it, and that can be a very hard thing to do actually in Greenfoot or in any video game because to not be like a few pixels above the thing or a few pixels stuck in the thing. I want to be right at the top of the platform. It means I need to know where the top of the platform is. So I'm going to need to get the image of the platform so I know just exactly where the top of it is because I need to know how big it is. Right, because remember when I say that when I get the y of something or get the x of something, that's the y of right in the middle of the object. So when I get the y of the platform, I'm getting the y of the middle of the platform. So I, to get to the top of the platform, I need to know how big the image is so I know that I'm there. So I'm going to create an, a variable called green foot, a green foot image type variable, not green goot, and I'll call it plat form image okay and uh, so we just got the uh, if I if if I'm here then I, I already had the platform below is not null so I can get the platform below I know what it, I've already got it so I can just say platform below it's already got it assigned to a variable and then I need to get its image so I'm going to do get image okay so now I have this uh, platform image I know uh, how far it is, right? Now the top of the platform is going to be it's going to be the location of the platform below, that is the Y. Right, so we need to get the Y of the platform below, but then we need to subtract, right, because we're going up, so subtracting means going up. And we want it to be halfway, half the height of half the image divided by two, right? That's the height of half the image, okay? So we're going to say in top of platform equals platform below dot get y, get the y coordinates of it, and then move it up by taking the image of the platform and getting the height of half the platform. And now, our new y is where we're moving to. Our new y, we already set it up here but because it's based on us falling, but we're not falling anymore. We're going to change our new y to wherever the top of the platform is. So this new y, we're, we're basically overwriting whatever we put in this variable here before, and, we're, and our new y is the top of platform, but remember, that's where his feet are going to be, right? And that means the top, it's going to be the top of platform. And that w when we do the get y, we're not placing his feet. We're placing where the middle of his body is. And so the top of platform minus the variable we said, which is ground height, which is half the height of the guy, of the platform guy. Now, that was what would happen if there is a platform below us, but lots of times there won't be a platform below us, and then we need to fall. If we're, and uh, right now, the way it works is if we're in the air, we fall. So if there's not a platform below us, and this else statement, very careful, it's not the else after if delta y greater than zero, it's the else after if platform below not equal null. So this means if there is not a platform below us, do an open and close curly brackets, then I'm going to say in the air equals true. And that's going to put, that means where we are in the air, we are going to continue to fall. So, um, and so if I compile this, this should work. And now I'm going to put my ball guy in. And now he falls and he lands on the thing. And notice how nice he lands right on the top of the platform. And as I move down, now he still can't jump, but I think you can see jumping's not going to be much to add on to here. It's not going to be hard where jumping is going to be pretty easy. And we're going to put that in in the next lesson. I'll see you then.